Battle of Bloody Gulch The Battle of Bloody Gulch took place around the Manoir de Donville or Hill 30, approximately one mile southwest of Carentan in Normandy, France, on June 13, 1944. It involved elements of the German 17th SS Panzer Grenadier Division and 6th Falskirmjager Regiment, and the American 501st, 502nd and 506th Parachute Infantry Regiments of the U.S. 101st Airborne Division, reinforced by elements of the U.S. 2nd Armored Division and the U.S. 29th Infantry Division. During the battle, the Manor House of Manoir de Donville was the headquarters of the German forces. American soldiers nicknamed the road running past the manor Bloody Gulch, after a place mentioned in a popular Western movie. When the 101st Airborne entered the town of Carentan on June 12, 1944 after heavy fighting on the two previous days, they met relatively light resistance. The bulk of the surviving German defenders had withdrawn to the southwest the previous night after a heavy Allied naval and artillery bombardment. Both sides realized the importance of the town, for the Americans, it was a link between Utah Beach and Omaha Beach, and would provide a base for further attacks deeper into German-occupied France. For the Germans, recapturing Carentan would be the first step towards driving a wedge between the two U.S. landing beaches, severely disrupting and possibly even destroying the Allied invasion. The remnants of the 6th Falskirmjager resupplied and were reinforced by assault guns and panzer grenadiers of the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier Division on the night of June 12-13. The combined force counterattacked northeast towards Carentan at dawn on June 13, just as the 506th and 501st PIR were attacking southwest to enlarge the American defensive perimeter around the town. The 506th took the brunt of the attack, and by 10.30 am, the outnumbered and outgunned paratroopers were pushed almost back to the outskirts of the town. Under intense German fire, F Company of the 506THS left flank broke and fell back. This exposed D Company's right flank, who also fell back, leaving E Company all alone. Captain Thomas P. Mulvey, the commanding officer of F Company, was relieved on the spot by the battalion commander. When a German tank attempted to penetrate the left flank, two soldiers of E Company successfully destroyed it with a bazooka. Meanwhile, battalion headquarters stopped the retreat of D and F Companies, pushing them forward 150 meters to cover the left flank. The 2nd Battalion of the 502nd PIR took up positions to the right of the 506th, but by 1 o'clock p.m. they too had suffered many casualties, and the German attack was on the verge of breaking through their defenses. At this critical point, 60 tanks from Combat Command A of the 2nd Armored Division and accompanied by infantry of the 29th Division, counterattacked southwest from Carentan at 4.30 p.m., inflicting severe casualties on the Germans and forcing them to withdraw at the loss of four tanks. The American victory led to the link-up of forces from Utah and Omaha beaches, creating a secure lodgment area for further American operations. The actions of the 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment during the Grains Incident southeast of Carentan, played a part in the successful capture of Carentan and the Battle of Bloody Gulch. Had the misdropped paratroopers of the 507th not stopped the advance of the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier Division, it is possible that the German division could have made it to Carentan before the 101st Airborne Division. Furthermore, the 507th caused the Germans significant losses in the few days that they were holding grains and this likely influenced the battle at the Bloody Gulch.